Right, it's Monday morning. I've set myself a new challenge. That is to try and regularly run. I used to run 5k a day. Uh, and uh, at the age of 60 I was. Fit as a fiddle, as they say. And then, well, moved to Malaysia, got into Malaysian cuisine and uh, the heat and, well, changing into a far different lifestyle. Even then, used to get up at six o'clock in the morning and do a run in the park, but, uh, you know, various sort of things kept getting in the way. And then, and then came Covid and all that, and well, I couldn't even get to the park for you on the morning run. And the result was, one well, got as fat as fuck. Basically, I couldn't even get into my shorts, let alone do any running. I could get, at the end of it, I couldn't get into any of my clothes. My... None of my clothes fit, and I was 205 pounds before, you know. What are you doing? What's happening? And I'm thinking, well, I'm not eating that much more. Well, of course I was eating much more. In fact, several occasions I, I'd gone into weight training. And uh, you get put onto a, a protein diet, and I was thinking to myself, this must be an American diet of some sort, because it's, it's 10 times more than I, I usually uh, I usually eat. But I was pumping iron, as they say. I was feeling, <laughs> well, basically, like shit. All the time, everything ate. And one kept going back to this uh, exercise regime, and it kept saying, well, <clears throat> Forget about weight, it's all about changing your muscles, uh, changing your fat into muscles and getting into a good look. And I'm thinking, ah, oh, okay, I'll buy this for a week, for a year. Uh, stuck at it and felt like shit all, all the time. Uh, this can't be right, so stops. As soon as I stopped, then I got as fat as fuck. All that white chicken. Not good for you. High protein diets and all that. Anyway, came back to the UK once more. Not really that much opportunity to exercise, except I used, I then bought myself an Oculus VR goggles. And I went into the shadow boxing world. And that I found actually works rather well. And it got my weight down very slowly. But nothing gets your weight down like getting run over. Nothing gets your weight down like running. So I thought I'd add running into the whole, whole business now because I'd already lost 20 pounds, 20 pounds doing the shadow boxing and, and of course eating a lot less which also helps considerably. And where am I? Ah, right, this is where I am. I'll just show you. This is where Jack Straw rallied the peasants to go on a rampage around London in the Peasants' Revolt of the 15th century. It's a very historical moment there. Oh, I'm running. It's the first time I've done that for over a year. With any luck I won't faint or trip over. Or otherwise uh, fall in the way of the traffic. It's definitely been a year since I last ran. Oh, 
Right. My plan. Work out paused. Say out. Work out paused. No, it's not. Right. My plan is to run around this park once. <laughs> Well, I've turned it into interval training. A brisk sprint followed by a power slouch. It's a new form of exercise. Power slouching. Oh. I used to run on a uh, treadmill and uh, I'd rack it up to a maximum and if anybody's been on a treadmill you know, you know what I mean and it would do these intervals of, of high power sprinting followed by gentle marathon loping gentle I would do that and uh, within 30 minutes one had burnt off a uh, a big max worth of fat or at least it told me that I'd burnt off the equivalent in uh, calories of a big mac so I thought to myself yeah that's the way to do it basically that means not only am I not eating a Big Mac a day, I'm uneating a Big Mac a day, which, you know, did get me very slim. Too slim in some respects. When you get too thin, you begin to look a bit emaciated, you know, your face goes very thin. But I felt as fit as that fiddle, as I said before, and I'm sure as fit as a fiddle, it's a term of phrase which completely puts my demographic into uh, perspective. Now then, whether I could keep this up during the winter, oh imagine running during the winter with that icy cold, that would really burn some calories. Whether it gives me the, the musculature and the, the muscle formation that uh, weight training would do is another matter but that you can wear clothes like a like a supermodel and uh, believe me when I was uh, fully functioning at the age, age of 60 I was wearing some expensive suits and looking like I deserved to wear them Where are we here now? We want to go down there. Oh, to be eight years old and on a bike on one of these things here. How glorious. could just manage the zip line now. That, to be eight years old nowadays must be great fun. You've got all this equipment. You get your mountain bikes and what have you. Skateboards, electric scooters. Plus VI goggles. VI goggles are really cool. 
VR, did I say? VR, VR goggles. Take you into a totally different world. Look at these birds, if you can see them. Let's take a look. Kilometer, pace, 10 minutes, 8 seconds. There you go, I've gone one kilometer in 10 minutes, 8 seconds. Not quite 5k. Uh, scared other birds away, afraid. Really big crows. In uh, Malaysia, when you're running, the minor birds used to get used to you coming around and they'd uh, sort of introduce themselves in a straight way. They would come and flock there, flock to where you were running. And there you could see there were families of them. They all squabbled with each other, of course, but uh, then when one would go, they would all go off with them and another family would come in. They, they'd look at you and they would wonder, is that bastard going to feed me? Of course, when you ran on, they went, oh, oh well. They were lazy and minor birds, they just went, oh well, never mind. Went on. The biggest one was the monkeys. <coughs> and you can see the, their families would gather on the, the trees. It says, looking at you. And the worst thing was when the uh, Sultan cleared all the trees to make room for an extension of his golf course. And uh, hundreds of these monkey families were made homeless and they all sat on the fence looking very forlorn and you saw the big alpha males either end protecting all the youngsters who were running wild and going off to the dumpster that was there and uh, the mothers with all the little babies they looked like refugees and they were sort of herded on who knows where they probably uh, invaded some housing estate for a while before a man with a a gun or a uh, uh, an aesthetic well, gun came along if that's the right word aesthetic gun I lost my ability to speak anyway I ran around the field in in three three uh, moments of exhaustion. No monkeys there, only the crows. But I'm on my way back home now, having started my campaign. Right. Do a little bit of running. <sighs> Nearly home. Not too bad. I did pass a place that was uh, selling bacon sandwiches. It was very tempting to pop in. Now I must admit, I don't so quite understand at what stage does one simply think it's hopeless, not too fat. I mean, I got to 205 pounds, I mean, I really was fat. And I, didn't, I hadn't noticed I was getting that fat. I used to weigh myself. I say, oh, tomorrow I'll begin exercise. I'll get some exercise in, and I got some exercise in. And it wasn't really affecting because I was so fat that any form of exercise really made you ache, exhaust. Now then, I discovered that I had uh, had uh, what did I have? What do I still have? 
I was just called it pneumatic uh, arthritis, not pneumatic arthritis. Polyarthritis was billed as. Exercise ring closed. Workout paused. Which basically means everything's uh, just screwed up, so. Workout resumed. They've stuck me on steroids and uh, metatrexate. All the things that lower your immunity. It's meant uh, just the right sort of thing for COVID uh, uh, pandemic. And that uh, kind of screwed up my uh, plans for more exercise to get that weight down. And of course, that just makes you uh, more lethargic. And of course, it may well all be connected with the weight. So it's a vicious cycle. So I can quite understand how people suddenly find themselves in a situation where they think, I can't do anything about this. I'm just going to get fat. The only thing you can do is not eat. And quite frankly, under certain circumstances, that's your greatest pleasure. Now then, when I was alive and fit and so on, I was eating well, usually two full meals a day, plus doing a lot of quite uh, heavy drinking with some of my pals. I was going out at night and off doing busy things, having lunch meetings with people, afternoon PR pictures, then working in the evening, going off and catching up with people at eight, eight or nine o'clock, you know. And I was looking good. And I thrived on that. And mentally, you thrived on it as well. So, I can't be busy like that all the time. And you suddenly wake up and you think, oh, Jesus, man, I'm too old for this because everybody around me is, yeah, in their 20s, 30s, 40s. And you're it's like 20 or even 50 years older than people that you're dealing with. You think, ah, oh, Jesus, I'm on a different planet here. But, uh, yeah, that's when one was fitter. So I'm just trying to imagine, how does one overcome that moment where you just give up? You know, that I felt for a moment that I had just given up. And then I started the uh, VR boxing. And that started the weight just creeping down. I was thinking, hey, it's possible I can get fit again. And here I am, home. And it started grey. I should say, grey started. 